Well, there's a lot to see at this fast-growing site at Bastrop, starting off right away with the structure you see in the middle of the screen. This is the new uh, X facility. It's the Safety and Trust Center, also the site of the new headquarters for the company of X. Now that they have closed down their uh, former headquarters over in San Francisco. And this is where it's going to be, at least for now, until maybe they build some new structures. Now, also in the background, you can tell that there is the SpaceX Starlink facility. The uh, Boring Bordega is in the middle of the screen, which is kind of a community center, and the Boring Company site on the left of the screen. All of the field, especially with the hay that you see on the right-hand side of the screen, the green belt in the middle, and including the horse corral that's coming up on the left-hand side of the screen, is all part of the growing site here that I call kind of the Elon Musk economy in Central Texas. Now, we'll start on the Boring Company site here. The houses that you uh, see in the foreground are part of the... Uh, housing for the Boring Company uh, crews and also their families while they are working here and off-site, specifically while they're doing a lot of the work over at Las Vegas. But this gives them a great place to be living and working very close to their work site with the Boring Company. The middle part with the swimming pool and the court and also the gym is part of Snailbrook Plaza. And again, this is more facilities for the workers. The large structure on the upper right is that main production facility for the tunnel boring machines. It's the, according to the employees, the only one in the country. And inside there is the Proofrock 4 and also Proofrock 5, which is the latest versions of the tunnel boring machines. As we continue to fly past liner truck lane on the left-hand side of the screen, and the small uh, structure that says the Boring Company, which is kind of their uh, utility and uh, overflow and storage location. What we're seeing is some significant developments next to this uh, location in the middle with the crane. Also the white belt cassette that was used over at Giga Texas for removing the spoils from the tunnel. On the ground, we can see the tunnel panels that are used for the road surface inside the tunnel, and a liner truck is going into the tunnel in the middle of the screen. That's significant because this tunnel is kind of unfinished. It did not have road liners when I visited in uh, the spring, and they are probably using that to test new road panels that are needed to get the tunnel at Giga Texas completed. And you can see some of that work on the ground next to the tunnel liners themselves. As we cross the road, I'm going to look across to the SpaceX Starlink facility. The white structure is the original 521,000 square foot structure. You can see the boring tunnels on the left that go under the road and emerge on the right-hand side of the screen. One of those is the Hyperloop test tunnel. And it has a door on either end, and they can bring the vacuum down inside the tunnel. The other is a test tunnel, as I mentioned. On the ground is where they are doing more of the fabrication of the liners and those road panels. As I mentioned, uh, most of those are going over to Texas, Giga Texas, to finish up that tunnel. Now, coming back to the SpaceX facility, that large white structure is in production now, making the terrestrial parts of the SpaceX Starlink system, and then you can tell there's a large extension being done to the north. In fact, it's going to more than double the footprint of this facility. Now, the reason why they're doing this is the demand for Starlink is growing worldwide. Not only are we seeing it by different company com, uh, countries coming online, adopting the Starlink for their citizens, a lot of people in rural United States are getting this because they can't get uh, uh, internet any other way in a efficient and uh, fast manner as far as the upload and download speeds. But we're also seeing uh, cruise ships and uh, airlines adopting uh, the Starlink dish now, and they're finding out that it is a uh, kind of a game changer when it comes to allowing people to have high-speed internet while traveling. Now, this is a great look from this perspective, the north looking to the south. With the new facility coming online, a lot of the beams and columns, some of the new roof on the left-hand side of the screen, 
You can also tell that the entire ground graded area has had all of the footings already completed and that will allow them to rapidly install the columns and beams as they go from left to right across the screen. You also see some of that steel being stored at the bottom in this uh, material staging yard. And on the right-hand side of the original building, some of the receiving docks with the trailers, the middle section uh, right in the top middle of the screen was added on earlier this year, and now they are continuing to add even more. From what I understand with the site permit, the construction cost is over $8 million for this extension, and uh, that will... Uh, greatly increase the amount of production capacity that they have here for the Starlink dishes, routers, and other uh, ground parts of that system and kits. On the center of the screen is that uh, uh, material staging yard, also some of the trailers for the company building the site, and additional equipment being stored here as well. Across the road is that large field we started with. You can also see the uh, structure for the X headquarters and trust and safety office and that boring bodega that is collectively known as Hyperloop Plaza. And uh, all of this area here is related because they are part of uh, uh, Elon Musk uh, companies. And this site uh, is definitely growing much larger. Now, as I bring the drone down closer to the X building, there is some grade work going on around the structure, most likely to expand the parking and also add more charging. Another thing that I would like to point out is uh, in addition to the X building here on the left-hand side of the screen, the Boring Bodega is uh, available and open to the public. It serves the community as a kind of uh, a grocery store, a general purpose store. It allows uh, you to get uh, uh, lunch and dinner, and it serves the employees from all of the companies here as well. There is a miniature golf, kind of a jungle gym, and pickleball courts. Again, all of this is open to the public as well. Now, as I turn my attention to the Boring Company site uh, uh, proper, this is the first uh, part of this area that was developed. Originally, it was just that uh, kind of rounded Quonset hut that was installed, and then the rest has been built over the last few years. As we cross over this uh, infield, which will eventually have further development from what I understand. I wanted to give you a closer look at the production site for the liners and those road panels. What we are seeing in the middle of the screen is where they are actually uh, manufacturing those road surface panels, the kind of the uh, rectangular ones you see at the bottom of the screen. Those are recently completed and are being transported over to Giga Texas to finish up that tunnel. And then you see the other tunnel liners on the bottom of the screen as we maneuver around next to these two uh, test tunnels. And that is to actually make the structure of the tunnels themselves. And a boring tunnel machine is what uh, makes the bore in the ground. And then those tunnel liners come in and finish out the tunnel to make sure it's uh, uh, you know, structurally strong to support its operation. As I fly back over towards the Hyperloop Plaza, uh, we also see additional work, probably electrical uh, conduit and connections, the bottom of the screen, another view of that uh, X uh, headquarters building. And also with this perspective, it's uh, noticeably much larger than the Boring Bodega, which is in the left-hand side of the screen. And of course, the view from here across the road, back over to the Starlink facility. And it's a good overall shot of showing how large that facility is becoming. So anyway, this is a quick view of all of the various activities, the facilities and the growth that is going on here at Bastrop, Texas. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this quick view and update of what is going on here. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it and have a great day. Take care.